Let me greet each and every one of you. It's fantastic that you returned to watch this film. This year alone, 1.4 billion man-made materials were produced. The amount that the 156 million lawful short sellers must pay is one topic of discussion. Let's start by examining the distribution of the 3.4 billion shares following the split and through May 3, 2024. The total volume since the split is 200 million, the same as the size of the float. A share of that sum is 13.69%. Since this isn't financial advice, it's obvious that the topic being discussed is volume. Furthermore, 9 out of 10 shares that are traded are probably fakes because there aren't enough genuine AMC shares available on the market. Based on the data we currently have, even after deducting the 250 million float and discussing the 1 billion volume, we have already traded 1.3 billion shares since January 1st. The reverse split has resulted in the volume we are currently monitoring, which is 3.4 billion. It is significant to remember that this number only applies to the reverse split and is valid as of January 1st, 2019. 1 billion synthetic shares have been manufactured in less than half a year. Let's now discuss AMC's history during the last three to four years, including its apex. Synthetic shares are still being created every day. With the use of this data, one can better comprehend how prevalent synthetic shares are in the market. We will talk about the CAT system in a moment, but this is the exact reason why short sellers are retaliating. First, it's important to note that Tuesday's decision is about amending the CAT system, not getting rid of it, so short sellers can keep trading undercover and keep their short positions hidden. Second, given that there have already been at least a billion short positions, we must be aware that short sellers are continuously attempting to disclose the short positions they have taken. This is due to the fact that the CAT system will reveal all short positions also. Since we are discussing the current state of the market, we are not discussing offshore markets, futures trading days, or other events. This is really the minimal minimum you can see why they would rather remain nameless and not reveal their short positions given that we now know that 1 billion synthetics have been generated this year. Furthermore, we have to acknowledge that they effectively worry that this regulation would make it impossible for them to ever get off the red list since they will have to purchase the shares instead of just restarting the timer. We've talked about how stocks that have been on the FTD list for longer than 13 trading days are obligated to cover their bets, and we've seen stocks like AMC on the list in the past. However, we have observed that AMC continued for more than 30 days without really being covered, while W continued for more than 13 trading days. We now know that these positions are being monitored, audited, and followed through on from start to finish since the SECC disclosed the CAT system. They will have to cover if this occurs again, but they will also be added to the FDD list when we instantaneously release all of their synthetics because they have produced billions of synthetics. This will make them have to cover those positions on the FDD list. Furthermore, we ought to understand that rules and affiliations banks and other financial institutions that support short sellers will view these as extremely risky bets and are probably going to recall the shares because they don't want the market to be truly informed that billions of synthetics exist, as they already know. Their worry is also motivated by other factors. For instance, it is already evident that all headphones must adhere to the rules within three weeks, and it is not accidental that so many GM files were received right before the deadline. Furthermore, a flurry of 13 filings in the previous week alone have been exposed by the CAT system, exposing headphones in the GME. Where can I locate synthetics for AMC? This also holds true for GME. These corporations are starting to file for GA, as you can see, which is precisely why we need the CAT system to be up and running in order for it to be able to recognize short positions. As was previously mentioned, this panics these corporations. Since they realize they won't be able to hide their locations once the CAT system is in place, they are making every effort to make sure everything is as clear as possible. We can also tell that they want nothing to be known about all those little exams. What potential dangers or issues could AMC face? We previously knew that the short selling limits had no effect on a significant volume of traffic. We'll also cover topics we've already covered, such as preferred destinations, offshore investments, foreign tax disclosure statements, FTDs, apparel appropriate for nudists, and synthetic materials. After discussing these subjects, they will be shown. It makes sense why they are afraid and how it is affecting them. Seven additional companies in South Korea concentrate in offering premium imitation stock shorts for sale. Fake short sales of 212 billion won have been discovered by nine international investment banks operating in South Korea's financial industry. It equates to roughly 156 million USD. 
Despite the fact that it is illegal for these institutions to trade short shares in the nation, they have discovered worth of over $156 billion. In spite of this, the government of South Korea is currently making great efforts to resolve the issue. When examining a market that has far less volume and liquidity than the U.S., it's crucial to remember that the U.S. has more investment banks. Nine international investment banks are being sued, including hedge funds like Citadel and Virtuosity. One can obtain a good indication of the number of illicit short stock deals by imagining where the money is. This gets us back to the subject at hand, which is how the CAT system effectively resolves this issue and enables individuals to effectively manage their roles. Even in South Korea, where there are less short sales than in the U.S., there are still a lot of short sales worldwide. On May 6, the Securities and Exchange Commission received a proposal for rule changes from the Fixed Income Clearing Corporation. The mortgage-backed security division clearing members may be impacted in a variety of ways by the modification to the FICC regulations. The cap on emergency liquid procedure has been improved as a result. Here is where the alterations are seen. People are concerned about the possibility that V-change, which has already been discussed, could worsen. Studies have indicated that on average clearing members have had increase in their value at rate risk change of approximately 42% during the impact study period. Referenced in the rule filing, this could potentially increase the financial burden on clearing members, so we have already seen how they have changed the V, especially when it comes to volatile markets, and we've talked about how that is because they are preparing for what's about to come now we. Already known that there are multiple factors right now that are pressuring short sellers to be covering the short shares, whether it's the CAT system, which we've talked about, whether it's the um, new T plus one that's going to be implemented, or any other factors that are out there, such as the decrease. Of capital being able to borrow, these are all factors that are forcing shorts to be at the verge of covering shares, and we are seeing the FIXI, the DTCC, to actually prepare for this. Remember this, the FIXI is a subsidiary of the DTCC and the DTCC, and the DTCC recently has actually warned us about in terms of the risk that are, are exposed towards the public, towards the market, and how certain MERS members, members in the DTCC and FIXI are extremely over leveraged and was warned to increase their capital to actually be able to cover the short positions. So you guys can see how all of these is starting to crumble, but how all of these are also starting to link up and exactly go towards what we have been talking about in the past about how shorts will get to over leverage that they don't have enough liquidity and capital to obviously cover and now being warned and will come to a time where they have to cover, and speaking about obviously covering short something that's important to talk about, is this I'm curious to hear your opinion. So AMC and GME now, especially for AMC, is this 300 share is pre of $30, you get 60 by dividing 600 by 10. Though there are now only 100 parts in the system, it already has 1,000 parts. We intend to remain here for a further three years. Remember that the $500 split happened prior to the $5,000 pricing. We don't have any plans to sell other than that. This is obviously related to the value of the AMC shares and the optimal price to sell them for throughout the transaction. It's also obvious that reports from individuals about short sales are the topic. Prior to the split, it's critical to consider the prices. I appreciate your recommendations. I'm excited to hear them.